welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today I will be doing a product testing I'm going to try out one of my favorite youtubers and also she's one of the first youtubers that I subscribe to for nail content and her name is long hair pretty nails and she came out with her own poly gel called Evie Patty gel and I knew ever since she released it I was like you know what I have to try this and I know some of you guys have also asked me to try this as well so I'll go ahead and do that so here are the two poly gels that I got it's in this nice mermaid-esque um, colorful package and I got the colors pink nude and marshmallow I wanted to get the full kit but I couldn't find it on the website. Maybe she didn't make the full kit at the time that I purchased these. So these are what I got. And they're pretty basic colors to be honest. But you can do a lot with pink and white. And um, let's open these up and see what's on the inside. So here are how the tubes look. It's in an all white bottle and it's 30 milliliters. This is a really cute bottle. And the letters are in like this purple iridescent color, which is really cool. So if you kind of just play with the bottle a bit and turn it side to side, you can see where the purple really shines. And let me unbox the other one. After opening these up, I'm gonna do some swatches. This actually has a little bit of glitter. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. So after doing the swatches, I'm just going to start with the nail tutorial. My nails didn't need much prep, so I just applied top coat. Now I'm going to glue my tips on. After putting these on, I'm going to clip them down. Next, I'm going to file these. Now I'm going in with my sanding band to blend the tip to the nail. Now I'll get started with the actual poly gel. As per usual, I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol as my slip solution. For the nail design, I'm going to do French tips, so I'm going to start off with the pink. this into a deep fringe I actually want this to be a bit wider <laughs> I also wanted to apologize to you guys because I know I keep saying I'm going to be more consistent and I just haven't been able to be consistent. I haven't been posting videos like, you know, every week like clockwork like I used to. I'm only because I've been focusing on schoolwork and trying to get everything done. So I didn't really have the time to do the nails and then edit them 
right now while i'm finishing up the semester i'm just trying to get as much out as possible and then hopefully by the summer i can be a bit more consistent but um i'm not going to make any promises to be honest because i also have to do summer classes as well so we'll see okay this is the french that i want so i'm just going to cure this then come back here's how it looks cured now i'm going to do the same thing with the other nails I'm really liking this poly gel it is helping me literally helping me because I work kind of slow especially with French tips and I don't like when my poly gel is getting all over the place so right now this is doing a very good job and I'm not just saying this because you know it's made by one of my favorite youtubers but seriously this is really good
done doing the French part of the nail, so I'm going to file these. Now that I'm done filing this part, I'm going to add the white part. I just love the glitter that's in this poly gel. It's just so cute. this poly gel like no joke it is doing everything so well that I just love I would definitely definitely try these in the future well try them again if I can get different colors I will definitely do another video with these <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I'm finally done applying the poly gel, so I'm gonna go in with my nail cleanser and wipe down that sticky layer. Next, I'm going to file these. So I filed these and buffed them out. Now, for the next part, I'm using this iridescent chrome powder and I'm going to apply it over the white part. And I'm gonna use top coat to do that. <laughs> so I'm going in with my liner brush. And I'm just going to put the top coat, as I said, around the French, the white part. And this is where I'm going to put the chrome to adhere to the nail. going to cure this for 60 seconds all right now I'm going to apply the chrome
So I'll just brush away the excess. Next, I'll add the charms. So I'm going to use this little bubble charm and the, these pearl charms. Okay, I'm actually going to use these uh, bubble charms. They actually look more like pearls. Now that I'm done with the design, I'm going to put on some top coat. Next, I'll put on some cuticle oil. So here are the final results. These nails look so cool. They are really just mesmerizing. Like, this chrome powder looks so good. And it meshes well with the pink poly gel. And it just looks so simple and so cute. The review for the poly gel, I would rate them a 10 out of 10. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Because the control with this poly gel is so good. And the colors are just really pretty. I really like that white one. I thought it was going to be a regular white poly gel, but I didn't realize that it had just little bits of glitter in it, which really ele elevated it for me. As I said, I really love the control. It was not runny and it wasn't too, too stiff, but it was just stiff enough for me to work with. And it's just a overall, just a really good poly gel. So I'm glad. So I would definitely try these again in the future and I would definitely get some more poly gels to try out and I really just want to try out the different colors that she has and hopefully I'll be on the lookout for the actual kits so that I can show you guys what the kits are like. But anyways, tell me what do you guys think of these nails? What do you think of the poly gel? Would you like me to try some more um, brands? Please comment down below which ones would you like me to try. And make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.